What makes you click on a button on the website you're browsing? Why do you feel compelled to enter your email in a subscription form? UX design and psychology are closely tied. Despite this connection, is not always obvious to the users. Over the years, psychology has proven to have effective research methods. They help to explore and describe human behavior. And now it is natural for UX designers to apply these psychological phenomena to create better apps and websites people will gladly interact with. In today's video, we're going to tell you more about the five laws of UX design every designer should know. Zgarnik effect. People remember uncompleted or interrupted tasks better than completed tasks. A little bit of history behind this one. A Soviet psychologist and psychiatrist Bluma Zagarnik conducted a research on memory back in 1920s. She found that incomplete tasks are easier to remember than successful ones because we keep feeling the tension and pressure to finish them. Another psychologist, Kurt Lewin, the creator of the field theory, explored how the Zagarnik effect works in real life. He observed how a waiter worked with his orders. The waiter remembered unpaid orders much better than those that people have paid for. So how to use the Garnick effect in UX design? It can be used to create deeper user engagement, for example using gamification. It is a common practice to motivate users to go deeper into any process of your product using reward and credit system. Starting challenges, setting goals and encouraging users to publicize their achievements have always created better user engagement. Successfully feeding users' ego was the key to success of many apps on the market. This works for fitness apps and social media apps like Instagram or TikTok. Using progress bars for complex tasks increases the likelihood of them being completed. Completeness meters have been a part of various social media, job portals and checkout forms. Fitz law. The time to acquire a target is a function of the distance to and size of the target. While examining the human motor system, psychologist Paul Fitz showed that the time needed to move to a target depends on the distance to it, yet relates intensely to its size. Simply put, fast movements and small targets result in greater error rates. Fitz law greatly influenced the commencement of large buttons, especially on finger-operated mobile devices. So your touch target should be large enough for users to both discern what it is and to use it. Touch targets should have ample spacing between each other and should be placed in areas of an interface that allows them to be easily acquired. Hicks law or hick hyman law. The time it takes to make a decision increases with the number and complexity of choices. Psychologist William Edmund Hick and Ray Hyman have established that increasing the number of choices will increase the decision time logarithmically. And this is how you can use it to improve your design. Simplify choices for the user by breaking down complex tasks into smaller steps. Avoid overwhelming users with too many choices and highlight recommended options to make it easier for them. Use progressive onboarding to minimize cognitive load for new users. Keep in mind that users browse your website with a specific goal. Minimize the distractions by removing unnecessary links, images, text and buttons from pages to allow users find what they need as soon as possible. Shorten long lists and reduce the amount of options where possible. In cases where long lists are inevitable, limit the number of options the user can view at a single time to make scanning easier and faster. Pavlovian conditioning. When we are getting used to performing a certain action or reaction based on a memorized pattern, we would perform the same action or reaction if the pattern shows up yet again. Pavlovian conditioning is a behavioral principle discovered by psychologist Ivan Pavlov. He researched how stimulus and reaction works. Pavlov's research was based on measuring dog salvation rates increase whenever he performed actions like opening a door or turning on the lights which indicated that the dog was about to be fed. Pavlov's principle can be applied in UX design to enhance navigation. It can help choose the right color for the buttons and sections that need more attention. When designing a CTA button, this principle can point point at the right choice. For example, if a user sees a city button painted red, they will be more determined to press it. By creating a red city button, you send a call to action and you get a desired reaction. But this can also work against you. Like this one is a bad example of using visual cues that tricks users into actions they didn't intend to do by making the delete button more prominent than the confirmation button. Serial positioning effect. Users tend to remember the first and the last items in a series best of all. German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus researched how the position of an item in a sequence affects their recall accuracy. Placing the important information first and last and placing the least important information 
information in the middle can be a highly effective way to get users' attention. Also, placing the least important items in the middle of a list can be helpful because these items tend to be stored less frequently in long-term and working memory. Like here, items trending this week are placed first, and other items are split in sections closer to the bottom of the page and are labeled more to explore. And this is how you can adjust your designs knowing about this effect. Provide users with tools to help them achieve their goal and be more efficient. The tools that you use most often are very likely to be placed at the very beginning of the list, whether it is positioned in a column or in a row. Provide users with cues to help them identify something they have done or learned before. For this, use highlighted text, sounds, etc. You can help your users out by limiting the amount of recall. Due to the limited attention span, designers should ensure that users are only faced with less than five items at any time within one dialogue. Many online retailers know that it's important to keep the user informed as they move through the flow of product purchasing, like in the process of filling out a checkout form. Emphasize the important things at the beginning and at the end. If a website sells clothes or other items, UX designers study the traffic to each of these items with the help of the marketing team. The items that sell the best go in the beginning and at the end of the line, while items with less traffic go in the middle. There you go, these were five the most fundamental laws of UX design. They are closely tied to human psychology, and this is a very interesting and exciting topic to tap into. If you guys would love to see more videos like this, shout out in the comments, give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel not to miss new videos. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next one.